So when you buy your gas, ensure the seal is on so that at least you are assured. Another thing I do when I'm buying gas is I ensure I buy from the from the petrol station that um from the petrol station. Yeah, so like this one I got it from Ruby's. So then when I am I am in connecting I usually like passing through this under here. I don't like putting it on this side which is empty because there is a possibility of movement. But if I put it on the side where is a barrier, there is some sort of safety. So you have this, you which is what you're going to connect with the cylinder here. See at the top. And then there is this one. There is this. Let me show you. So you have it held there. So you press this this thing here and then you turn round. So this what we have done. My gas is also dirty. Let me wipe it. Sorry, I said gas and I meant regulator. Sorry, so you can see it's now clean. And what I've noted is that I always clean my gas. Um that is the top. And I forget to clean my this regulator and the pipe. So it's good to be cleaning it. So we are here. So now it is locked. You cannot use gas. And yeah, you cannot use gas and it cannot leak. So if you have kids in the house, ensure you try and maintain it at this level. Such that when the, the child turns on the the, the gas... There is no leakage and there is no harm to the child. So the next thing we are going to do now is to connect for use. So you press this th same thing here and then you turn it round. It will make a, a small a a noise and then it's complete. To know that it is connected, you pull it up and that's it. You can see it's now connected. We can try put it on. So let's put it on. Depending on your gas, there are some which are outer, there are some which are you have to use a matchbox. So now you are ready to use.